go. This new coffee offering from Sumatra is an excellent example of a very nuanced coffee and I know you are going to love it. In the wet hulled process, ripe coffee cherries are deep pulped and then partially dried with some of the sticky sweet mucilage left on the seeds. The still moist coffee seeds are then hulled where the parchment layer is stripped off and the drying is finished outdoors where the coffee is subject to daily monsoon rains. Now this process is very common to Indonesia, particularly Sumatra due to the very humid climate. And here's the takeaway. Wet hulling emphasizes body and mutes acidity. This particular Sumatra coffee comes from a cooperative called Kopi Alam Karinsi, Alco, which now has 516 members who cultivate on small family owned plots of land located around Mount Karinsi, the highest volcano in Indonesia. Their farm management practices create a protective buffer for the Karinci Sablat National Park, which encircles the entire Karinci Valley with an unparalleled natural beauty and habitat for the Sumatran tiger. Now, here's an interesting fact. This national park is a world heritage site with more tigers than in all of Nepal, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and China combined. Drinking this coffee, which will lend itself well to any brewing style, is going to blow your mind. This particular example of wet hull processing has rendered these beans so clean tasting that you'll quickly appreciate the difference from earthier, more common Sumatra coffees. In the nose, there are sweet notes of chocolate, fresh tobacco, and oolong tea. In the cup, the body is delicate with a floral tea-like silkiness and the finish is lingering and clean with hints of stone fruit, almost a bit peachy. And now it is time for you to add this coffee experience to your own repertoire. You really owe it to yourself to try Sumatra Kirinci Wet Hull. Mwah! I love you guys. Thanks for stopping in. Have a great cup of coffee and I will see you again next week.